Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your moderator, CEO and founder of Cevent, Reggie Agrawal. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Reggie Agarwal, and I'm the CEO and founder of Cevent. Just kidding, Cevent. <laughs> I forget the voice of God there. Okay. Can we go back? So, It's great to be here at GBTA. Last year, some of you may recall that I was here on center stage, and I shared with you my personal journey and the five lessons that I learned in growing Cevent from a two-person startup to a 4,000-person global technology company. That's why I was super excited to be invited back to lead a discussion on something that's very near and dear to my heart, innovation and entrepreneurship. As many of you know, our industry has been a hotbed of innovation. Early technology pioneers like Expedia or Priceline, and now companies like Airbnb and Uber, have all created a new paradigm based on innovation and disruption. But the question for today for companies of all sizes is, how do you become an innovator or your organization? I know some of you might be saying, well, why should we care about being an innovative company? Well, to be clear, it's literally, in my view, a matter of survival. You have to be innovative, not just to grow your company, but now just to avoid being disrupted. When I founded Cvent, it was just a simple idea, but through a combination of passion and innovation, we've been able to keep the momentum for the last 20 years. And now today, I want to continue that same discussion. But this time, we're going to talk about how you and your organization can think about innovation. So let's start first with looking at an approach to innovation. At Cvent, we actually have a pretty formulaic way that we use to identify and scale innovation. We call it the pain framework. That's right, pain. I know it's not a great branding here. But it has four parts. Number one, find a pain point and create the aspirin. Find the pain point and simply create the aspirin. That's what we call the idea. Now that you have found a pain point, you have to do number two, which is determine how many people have that pain. How many people have that pain? Well, that's the size of your market. Venture capitalists call it TAM, or the total addressable market. Number three, how many people are willing to pay you to solve that pain? And that is what we call the revenue model. And finally, number four, how are you solving that pain differently than everyone else? This is called innovation or competitive differentiation. And depending on the extent of the innovation, it could also be called disruption. Now that you understand this innovation framework, I'd like to turn to our CEO panel, and they all come from different types of companies, from a large enterprise, a mid-sized company, and a startup to discuss their innovations. So why don't you join me in welcoming our first CEO to hear that we're gonna hear from is Bora Ispalan, the CEO of Tab Operations. Give, me, give a round of applause for Bora. Thank you. Great introduction, Richard. Thanks a lot. Um, today, uh, I'll be talking more about uh, Launch Me, a new uh, startup that we established uh, like a couple of months ago. And uh, I know that most of you guys sitting in this room are frequent flyers. And most of you are able to get into uh, lounges. But I have a question to you. Please raise your hands. How many of you have purchased any lounge access? Airport, airline, a common use lounge with your earned airline miles. OK, I will come back to that because I, I believe that's very important. I mean, the slide that pops up shows that aviation has been going its golden age. Four billion transactions happened in last year. And it's going to be expected to be eight in less less 10 years. Aviation and travel is going through its golden age. On the other hand, all of us in this room focus on one common objective, one common goal, customer satisfaction by creating the ultimate passenger experience. In terms of experience, lounges are great locations to create. 
That's the reason why airlines, airports, launch developers, they have been spending millions of dollars in each year to develop the best launch in terms of best design, best FMB, best, you know, uh, tech savvy features. So launch me as a product is a kind of matching platform between these two trending topic. So, uh, I mean, it's a, a quick video, but I will keep, you know, uh, talking on this video. I mean, LaunchMe is very easy, very easy to download from Google Play or App Store in a matter of seconds. You can uh, create your profile in less than a minute. You can use any kind of, you know, payment method. And basically, you can get into any launch, more than 600 launches globally, you know, with uh, just create a QR code in less than three, four steps. However, we also add a lot of you know, features, cool stuff into it, because we know that we have to also target, focus on the millennials, who is going to be the uh, future frequent uh, flyers. In the meantime, when we discuss internally, we came up with one question. What value through launch we can create for the legacy stakeholders in our industry, which is airlines, TMCs, OTAs? or hotels, different loyalty platforms, um, or airports applications. And we came up with one quick uh, solution. So with the white label version of LaunchMe, by just integrating into any of existing you know, mobile application of any airline, any TMC, any OTA, you can not only create the customer satisfaction, but also you can create you know, financial ancillary return to your organization. So, if you're an airline, you can basically, you can basically, you know, uh, put uh, launch me white label version into your existing application, and you can promote any launch by using earned miles, or you can promote your economy class passengers launch exits as well, which will bring you financial return and also customer satisfaction. Same approach can be applied to any stakeholder, different loyalty programs, different hotels, different applications, or TMCs. TMCs by basically with the web version of LaunchMe can also enrich product offer by asking, by offering launch as, uh, access as well. So in a nutshell, what's our aim? Our aim is simple. We want to add more lounges into LaunchMe network, which is 600. It's going to be 1,000 very soon and would like to be the leading mobile application in launch industry. Thank you very much for listening to me.